However, on a petty note, where I'm coming from, baby, I got I done found me a whole new job. I ain't gonna be here either. <laughs> what you what you gonna do about the kids? <laughs> friends we're back we're black and curious i am kandrin what up what up it's deja hello never been here before welcome we do a cross-section of pop culture in real life and today we are back with a reddit reaction am i the asshole are you ready yes okay it's called i broke up with my boyfriend because of his kids i female 25 Broke up with my boyfriend, male 29. He has two kids, nine and seven, from his previous marriage at 19, which lasted not long at all. We have been seeing each other for seven months officially, three uh, officially for three months, but our love and has mm, wait, but our love had grown so deep so fast that we decided to get an apartment together. Here we are, one month before our move-in date, and he tells me that his ex is planning on taking him off child support. That would require him to have the children every other week. Since I don't have children, I felt that would be a bit much. We were moving in September and the child support agreement was to take place in October. I felt like that wouldn't give us enough time to get a good rhythm in our place before bringing an extra set of humans to take care of every week. Keep in mind, he works 11 to 11 a.m. to 8.30 p.m. And I work from 6 a.m. to 2.30 p.m. That would re that would have required me to be the guardian for the children until he got home and they would be asleep by then. I expressed my concern for this as I don't have children and that was a bit much for me. So I told him I was uncomfortable with that setup and he lashed out at me saying, as a future stepmother, that is something you would have to do anyways. I completely disagree, but we aren't married anyways. We aren't married anyways. If we were, it would be my job to help. Mm, sorry. If we were, it would be my job to help you. But this setup would be more like me raising the children on my own. Does this make me selfish? And am I the asshole? Hell no. <laughs> Them ain't your kids. That's not your responsibility. And not only like, how long were they together? Did I miss that part? Did she tell us? Yeah, I think uh, she, she said not long. They've been seeing each other for seven months, official for three. No child by. I live by myself before I submit myself to being your uh, living nanny. You got me fucked up. <laughs> and the thing is, like, I don't think that the thing is, I think what he's asking for is completely unreasonable. Yeah. And saying this whole thing about, well, you would be the stepmother, you should be uh, like no in training, then you you should be happy to do this is kind of wild to me. Um, however, I feel like this comes with the territory of dating people with children. Like you never know what their, when their circumstances will change. And this is, it could be anything. Like this seems like they, him and the mother worked some arrangement out where he wasn't going to be on child support, but he's going to be providing 50% of care. And that mm -hmm. could be because of the mom maybe is having some sort of mental health issue, or she could be just like, you got like, I don't need your money. I need you to help with these kids. Right. Or, there are plenty of times when people's parents pass away, where there's something happens with the parent that things change. And I think like people have to be honest and real about the fact that if you date someone with children, there is a possibility that those kids are going to wind up with you if you are in a situation where you are cohabitating with that person. Now, I'm not saying anything about whether you should or you have to. I don't think you have to. I think she is well within her rights to say absolutely not. And I don't think that makes her the asshole, but I think that this whole thing about like, that's not what I was planning for is like, girl, but you knew he had kids. <laughs> that part. But my thing is, so as a parent with these children, what I'm not going to do is all of a sudden move in with someone that my children may or may not know because we don't know that part of the story. And then expect this person to then care for my children in my absence that's insanity yeah and like mm -hmm. all day from the from the dad's perspective it's like you're getting a lot you're giving a lot of trust to someone that you don't even know that well you guys are yeah 
for less than a year. Like you've been together officially for three months. So like less than a year for real. And you've only like been dating for seven, seven months. So like, why in the world do you think that somebody is going to want to raise your kids to that extent? Like, that's crazy. And and the fact that he's gone literally majority of the time and, and night. So she's going to be doing bath time. She's going to be doing bedtime, dinner, picking them up from school, making sure the homework's done. She's going to be doing. Yeah, the- no. That the answer to that is no. Yes, uh, we live to we, uh, well. We're uh, slated to be living together. However, I am not responsible for the caretaking of your children. You need to figure that part out because I, I will not be doing it. <laughs> I, well, the thing is, I don't think that she should move in then. <laughs> not my thing is not under y'all together three months. Then all of a sudden, I'm supposed to be responsible for however many children that you have in your absence. Mm-mm. Yeah, no, I'm no. saying. I- think that she should continue forward with moving into this place because like i, at one, I get how, that how can, you, but... how can you stop how can you stop the train i mean you can't when you're gonna leave the kids by themselves then you're gonna have a child endangerment call on you because you're supposed to you know what i mean like that's no, not- i will fill my schedule up with all types of other stuff you got to figure this out i'm not gonna be here so the child endangerment is on you. You know I'm gonna be at work. <laughs> but then don't move in. Like that's my thing. I'm like I don't. Think I agree. Should, I'm just being crazy. Move into <laughs> this situation, like period, point blank, like th- don't move into the house. <laughs> don't do this to yourself, sis. Y'all have whatever penalty comes from that. Take the penalty. Take the L. But do not move in with this man, knowing that he has this obligation toward these kids, and think you will not be a part of it because that's not a thing. <laughs> no, it's not. However, on a petty note, where I'm coming from, baby, I got I done found me a whole new job. I ain't gonna be here either. <laughs> what you what you gonna do about the kids? Cause she working at six to two, she can get another job. <laughs> but also, I do suspect that would yes, but that's going to end the relationship anyway. So like, why move right. in when the relationship is going to be over regardless of how you play this? If you don't, Friend, have to- you you be illogical. I'm being petty. <laughs> I, no, I understand. We're having a conversation, but I'm just saying, like, at a certain point, like, the relationship's going to end if you don't help take care of the kids. That's a part of the moving in together and a part of the situation is that you you going to be helping take care of these kids. So if you don't and you don't want to, you should not move in. <laughs> no, I agree. That's crazy. You want a new intro? Okay. So this, these Am I the Asshole story times seem to be um, all about parenting. So I'm going to go ahead and play this one for us. Give me a one second to get it up and rolling. I don't even know here. I have been just like focusing on healing and just non-drama and everything like that. Right? But tell me why more drama has entered my life. I finally made the decision to focus on me and let my husband take care of his own kids because I just I cannot and for some reason I'm getting a lot of backlash from my own family and my husband's family even though everyone has been telling me to just let my husband take care of his kids don't be involved don't do it whatever blah blah blah, which I find very weird so I'm focusing on PA school right I'm a fan of PA school I waitlisted myself for the BSN program and I'm just trying to work and do all these classes and a lot of science classes, whatever. And so I told my husband, I was like, you know what? I cannot be focused on this. So I just need you to handle this. And y'all, I'm going to speed this up because mama is talking real slow. So hold on. That meant financially too. Like I'm no longer helping him financially with his kids. I'm no longer paying for appointments, paying for insurance, paying, no, like he has that he can't afford it. He can't afford it. I make six figures. I can afford it. But because of so much trauma with ACDM, I whatever, I was like, you know what? I need to worry about myself and focus on my career and focus on my kids. My kids, I do have a lot of kids. And I was like, I'm going to have her. with all this drama. So what? All right, so I was not showing and everything, whatever. And now I completely not showed. Not showed. And I feel amazing. Does it hurt my husband? Yes, it does. It hurts him financially as well. Because when he can't pay the full amount of child support, because his court date, even though he filed in April, is when I can push back until September. And so he's still supposed to be making the full payment, but he's making half of what he made in the military. And so I feel bad for him, but I'm not helping him pay his child support. I don't pay any of his child support. I'm sorry, no. 
But now he's getting drama and backlash from his ex-wife, who even though an act of litigation, she's threatening to file a letter with the judge saying that he's not paying the full amount and she needs it. Da, da, da. It's like, my husband is not making that much money being retired, right? So he's was in the military and he only did 14 years. So do the math. Um, so my husband was like, this can't be my problem. I love you to death, but this can't be my problem. Um, if she was nicer to me and she apologized to me and if she recanted all of her lies and everything in court, then maybe I would help you out. But until then, I'm sorry, money, money, your money is your money when it comes to you and your kids, right? So I have just been focusing on my glow up and my mental health and just being spiritually and physically healthy. Um, and I'm just so excited about being able to apply to PA school. It's a master's program. And yeah, so the bad guy, like my family and my husband's family have been giving me crap about, well, the kids need you and um, you're the only real mom that they really have. And it's just like they have them. They can't help compensate for that. And I've been doing that for almost three years. And it's been giving nothing but heartache and high blood pressure. I'm done. I'm just, and I feel so, I feel like a weight off of my shoulders has been lifted, y'all. Like once I told my husband I was done, like in order for us to save our marriage and me and you be back to how we were when we first met, I can no longer be involved in this. This is not my problem anymore. I love you to death, but no. So, all right. So, she wants to know if she's the asshole in this situation. I don't think that she is. Wait, let's recap that because it was a little all over the place. So, basically, this lady has a husband. He has children pre existing from a relationship from a previous marriage. Mm -hmm. And, or relationship. I don't know if it's, they were married. I thought, had children. I thought she said it was his ex wife. Or he just said ex. Okay. Um, okay. So, previous relationship has children and she's just like i need to focus on me did she say that they have a child together they don't okay um okay she so, has kids and he has kids they are okay. a blended family understood okay so um she needs to focus on her uh the husband is going to be solely responsible for the child support payments uh, even though she's a six-figure earner, he's retired, so the child support pay payments are higher than he could probably afford on his own mm -hmm. um, now that he's retired. So she's like, you need to worry about that. I'm going to be over here worried about school. Her family feels like she's the asshole. Everybody around her feels like she's the asshole because they think that she needs to be more involved with the kids. And she's just kind of like, I need to focus on my kids and my stuff while he focuses on his kids and their stuff. Mm hmm You got and it. I <laughs> I I don't know what state they're in, but her her income may be factored into the child support. So I don't think I don't know that she is right. off scot free with that one. Um they're married, so it's household income. So in some states, yes, her income very much can be factored into child support. Which is probably why the ex is going back and forth to court to get more money. Yes. Um, so I don't think that she's automatically off the hook for that. Um, as far as her, I think it's fair to set boundaries about what you're going to do as far as it relates to any like stepchildren or whatever, especially when you have kids. And it seems like her life is sort of getting going and his mm -hmm. life is maybe his career at least is winding down because he is retired. So especially when, when there's like a disparity in um, labor in that way, I think it's fair for her to say, hey, I need you to step it up with your kids. Like, <laughs> I need you to step it up. I'm not asking you to worry with mine, but I'm asking you to step it up with yours so that I can get to this money. And especially with her being the breadwinner of the household, I think that's a fair ask. Now, I think boundaries are okay. I do. Mm -hmm. However, like I said the last time, I think when you get into these relationships with people who have children, you have to acknowledge and be clear about what you're going to do, but you do have to do something. I'm not right. saying you have to do everything, but you have to do something with the children in the home or at least when right. they're in the home. I don't think you have to, to do the most, but you have to do, it's not fair to make them feel like they're especially if there's other kids in the home, like her kids are in the home and she's treating them kids way different. Like that's, that's not fair. I don't think so. I, the way that she described it, it's what it sounds like is when he, when his kids are there, she's not going out and doing a whole bunch of stuff like her and her kids. They're all, they're all together right. doing whatever in the house when okay. they are not there. She's doing all the things that she does with her kids. So not to slight his kids. Does that make sense? Yeah. No, no, that's what I'm saying. Like, I don't think, 
I think it's fine to set boundaries and say, hey, when your kids are here, I need you to step it up. I need you to be involved. As long as that doesn't include her doing one set of things with her kids and something different with the other kids when right. they're all together. Because I don't well, think, I don't that's think she's doing it. I think she just said, I'm chilling. It's yeah. on you when your kids yeah. are here. Yeah. The other thing that I... um I'm intrigued about she said something but I didn't watch her look at her channel to really see what the background is but it sounds like it might be a thing of the ex having gone to the courts and had all these stipulations around how her children can be parented which excludes his wife which would be the woman who was telling us the situation that's what it sounds like so it makes me wonder if because she went what I wonder if the ex went in and was like she can't have any say or she can't do X, Y, and Z and basically absolved her of all parental and like possibly financial responsibility of these kids without thinking that that's what she was going to be doing to herself. Mm. Um, I wonder if that's why, if that's the loophole that she found where she's like, all right, well, I'm hands off. I won't be doing anything for them anymore. I'm going to worry about me and mine. You need to worry about you and yours. And then we can come back together and be a happy couple that we were prior to the melee with your ex i didn't really get that but it was on double speed so i probably missed some of it too <laughs> um i didn't really get that i just felt like she just was like look i i want to focus on going back to school and all these hard classes that i want to take um to get the next level of my career and i don't have time to be fooling with your kids when they're here so I need you to step up or I don't have time to be fooling with your kids, period. Because even when they ain't here, I, I'm not, I don't have time to be fooling with their child support. So right. I, I don't have time to fool with them at all. So figure it out and leave me out of it is what it sounded like to me, which I think is a semi-fair yeah. stance, but I think it has to be, uh, I think boundaries are fine when you're in a step parenting situation. I just think you have to be clear about them and, and it shouldn't be vindictive. Just like, yeah, that's it. So, y'all get down in the comments. Let us know. Have you been in this situation? Have you ever experienced such married or not? Um, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And if you have a story you want to share, send it to us. The email is linked down below. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.